Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about periodontion. This will be a very brief lecture, uh, so watch this session till the end. So what we are going to discuss in this short lecture, first we will discuss what is periodontion. What are the components of the periodontium? And at the end, we will discuss the composition of the alveolar bone and cementum that are the two mineralized components of periodontium. So the term periodontium, it basically means the tissues that support and invest the tooth. So what are those components? So the periodontium, it basically comprises of four components periodontal ligaments. So this is the longitudinal section of a tooth and this is a diagram of the longitudinal section of a tooth and these are the periodontal ligaments. So these all are the periodontal ligaments. The second component is the cementum. So cementum it covers the root dentine so this whole brown color, it represents the cementum that covers the root surface. And the periodontal ligaments, they are embedded on one side into the cementum. So the third component is the bone, the portion of the alveolar bone that is lining the alveolar socket. And the periodontal ligaments on the another end, they are embedded into the alveolar bone. So the cementum on each side of the periodontal ligament is the cementum and the another side is the alveolar bone. The last component is the gingiva, which is the soft tissue. So the periodontium it comprises of four tissues and out of these four tissues, the cementum and the alveolar bone, they are the mineralized tissues. And the remaining two tissues, the periodontal ligaments and the gingiva, they are the soft tissues. So these components of the periodontium, they provide support to the tooth and they are necessary to maintain the teeth in function. This is a term that is known as gum forces. This term is used for the tissues of the periodontium as they form a specialized fibrous joint. So this specialized fibrous joint between the tooth and the alveolar bone is known as gum forces. So the composition of the bone and the cementum that are the two mineralized tissues of the periodontium. Bone, it, it is 50 to 60 percent mineral and the remaining 25 percent is the organic component and around 15 percent is water. The mineral component it comprises of it comprises of hydroxypatite crystals. The collagen is type one collagen with a smaller amount of type three collagen as well. There are some other types of collagen as well, such as type five, type twelve, and type fourteen. Beside this organic collagen component, there are some known collagenous proteins as well, such as bone cellulose osteopontin, osteocalcin, osteonectin, dentine matrix protein or matrix ex extracellular phosphoglycoprotein. In case of cementum, cementum is slightly less mineralized as compared to bone, 45 to 50% mineral, 30% organic material and around 22% water. It also comprises of type 1 collagen fiber with a smaller amount of type 3 collagen fibers. The known collagenous proteins are the same, with, but there are some cementum-specific proteins as well, such as cementum-drive attachment proteins. In general, the composition of the bone and the cementum are very similar, but there are differences too. The bone is a vascular tissue with rich nerve supply, but the cementum is, it doesn't has, have any blood in the nerve. The type 3 collagen is only present in case of repair and regeneration. Otherwise, the type 1 is the predominant form of collagen fiber in these tissues. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, do give us your feedback in the comments. Uh, stay blessed. Thank you again.